Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and let me get my mouse out of the way. Welcome back to Dead Cells. So, uh, it's been a while, in fact, it has been almost a year, I think, that since this game first hit Early Access. Has it been a year? Yeah, I think it was a year. I My dates are all messed up. Anyway, so I played this when it first hit Early Access, and like, my initial impressions were kind of dodgy, just because it was like, ridiculously punishing, you know, like, You'd pretty much breeze through all the levels, have no problems, then you get to the boss who'd one-shot you for no reason. And they rebalanced him a couple of times, then eventually made him really, really easy because he's the first boss in the game and, uh, fixed that up. Uh, and so, uh, now we're here for the final version, and it's really loud, so I'll have to turn that down. Uh, but I'm excited to finally get into this. I, I've been holding off on covering the, the in-development versions just because, like, I like, I like early access, but I don't like playing games that are, like, in mid-development because it... It's like, do I do I put it as the previous series? Do I put it as a separate series? Like, how do I base this in and, like, you know, my save files keep getting destroyed or broken? Like, what this is doing, I think. So thanks for getting involved in Early Access. With your help, trust, and confidence, we finally made it to version 1.0. Hope you've enjoyed a ride. Well, we wiped out your save files, nerfed your favorite weapons, and generally figured things out as we went. We really hope that you enjoy the complete version of the game even more. So we suggest you start a fresh save, particularly if you'd like to discover all the lore that we've added with this update. Oh, that's neat. And thanks for the help. This ain't over. We'll be back with more content post-release, so stay tuned. Yeah! Alright, uh, let's see. So number of runs... Honestly, I'm gonna keep my original run. I'm gonna get rid of my secondary run. Uh, secondary one? Because it wasn't that helpful. Anyway, streaming mode. Hello. Okay, so we should probably take a look at this. All right, so now that we've linked our, 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 my Twitch account, so activate Captain Chicken. Viewer will randomly be selected from the volunteer. They'll be in charge of your health potion. Okay, I'm gonna turn off Captain Chicken. That doesn't sound great. The boss could be kind of interesting. So... A random spectator chosen from volunteers will be the boss and be able to launch some special attacks. Level modifiers, good and bad. Community codex. Uh, let's turn that off for now. Community chests. Sure. Help, uh, community help spot secrets. Uh, activate comments. Let's turn that off. We don't, I don't want to, I don't want that on the screen. That's how you get bad. I don't know, I've never enjoyed the, uh, that level of Twitch integration. Level suggestions, and windows on the right. No. I... Okay, that doesn't really matter. Let's see how this this goes. This is a, That's actually something else I can talk about. So, uh, technically, yes, I'm streaming... I'm going to be streaming this whole series. Uh, a lot of people actually... Oh, jeez, this is going to be... I love the new UI and loading screens and stuff. This is always a beautiful game, so I'm kind of interested in, um... Seeing what they've done with the lore and the UI and whatnot. Because it's definitely improved since then. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, I should probably address the, uh... The whole thing about streaming and whatever. Weirdly enough, I'm primarily a, a YouTuber. I just stream constantly. Oh, it's a lady this time. Aren't you the headless fellow that's been getting around? Huh. What's the matter? Got Cat got your tongue. Ah, yes, that's right. No tongue. Anyway, it must be strange to be back from the dead. I mean, surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. I don't really understand it. But you're not the first to find yourself in this situation, if that's what you want to know. Oh, this animation is great. Shouldn't you be on your way? Alright. Well, beginner bow, secondary weapon. Do we want the bow? Emma comes back after enemies are killed. Oh, right. I guess I'll use a bow for this. How do I... That's... That's how I roll. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, as weird as it sounds, I am primarily a YouTuber, so whenever it's, like, too... Uh... Too, like, noticeable that I'm streaming, I, like, try and tone it down a little bit. Because it just... It feels weird to me. Okay, Sinew Slicer. I'll grab it. I don't have anything better immediately. Oh, this is the one that shoots the... Oh, that's effective. It looks it looks and feels a lot smoother now. They've really done a lot to improve this game. Like, this really has come a long way. Uh, which I appreciate. Okay, but yeah, so... 
I've just been seeing a lot of people uh, recently being like, why is your channel so dead? No, it's it's not dead, it's active on Twitch. No, actually, most most of my audience really is on on YouTube. Uh, it's just not immediately always obvious. Okay, so let's just go brutality here. Apparently enemies scale based on your, uh, your, your stats, so leveling up might not actually be worth it in the game. Which feels really weird and kind of sad and, eh, whatever. Okay. Aw, oh, no Captain Chicken. We can do it at some point, but still. Seldor. Hey, you there. Oh, it's you. Looks like I'm on the right side of the door for once. <laughs> Damn, they didn't mess around. No answer. Okay, meal tray. Been abandoned here for some time. Check in. Can't use that right now. Okay, I don't think there's anything else over here. So I might try Captain Chicken at some point, but I'd like to I'd like to play this game semi-legit before we start like really messing with some of the new mechanics uh, that they've added. You know, maybe beat the game once or twice and then we can mess around with it or who knows. Uh, but stuff like Captain Chicken might be a little bit too much uh, viewer, inter viewer interaction for me. Uh, Let's see, Nutcracker. Let's get it instead of the Rusty Sword. I don't remember if I really like the Nutcracker. It's effective, it just... It's just a bit punchy. We'll see. Uh, okay, so anyway. Uh, so yeah, this game came out early access and... Yeah, I was kind of meh about it. It was good, but I was expecting something a little bit more Metroidvania-y. Uh, maybe something closer to Chasm, and it was not. And I was, you know, I was just like, meh, I'm not, I'm not terribly interested in this. That was a mistake. This game is actually fantastic. Uh, and everybody lets me know. I straight up have people, like, uh, watching the, uh, watching the, like, pre-alpha, uh, footage that I covered of this game, being like, that's not how the game works. You must have, like, a bugged version, or maybe you're just stupid. And I'm like, no, the game just sucked at the time. Uh, it was, it was balanced for, uh, absolute masochists. And now it looks like they've, they've moved a lot of the, like, ultra challenge over to, uh, four cell mode. So that'll be interesting. I'll see if I can make it there. <laughs> I'm probably going to get destroyed. Anyway, this is Metroidvania, kind of. Sort of? Not really. Uh, if you want to see, like, a true blue Metroidvania roguelike, uh, that would be... Oh, shoot, what's the... What's the... Oh, I am forgetting the name of this one. Uh... True Blue. It's... Oh, I've got it on my... I've got it on my Switch now. And on Steam. I should double check. Oh, Rune. I missed a Rune. Where'd I miss the room? Uh, Rune? Probably... Down here somewhere? No, it's not Hollow Knight. It's a it's a roguelike. I've I've totally forgotten the um. I, I've totally forgot the name of it. But it had ro roguelike mechanics. It played up. It straight up played like a me, me, uh, a Metroid game. And oh, this is gonna bother me. Balanced for Masochist. That described the game well when it first launched. Yeah. And, like, I loved it. It was fun, and I really wanted to play more, but it was it was disheartening to get to the final boss, and he just... He'd, uh... He'd just barely tip you and you die, and it's just like... Ah, uh, it's annoying. Okay, let's look up this roguelike before I go too far. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, uh... So the, the Metroidvania roguelike that I'm remembering was called A Robot Named Fight, which is absolutely fantastic. And much more fulfills the the Metroidvania roguelike feel, uh, because it's got like multiple movement tech that you can learn over the course of the game, bunches of different uh, bunches of different upgrades, so on and so forth. It it was really good. I, I like I can't stress how good that game was, and uh, it kind of feels like the internet as a whole kind of ignored that one because truly like that that got across the metroidvania feels so much better than this one does that said this one is probably one of the best action combat platformer roguelikes i've ever played uh you know it's got the dodge rolling and whatever this is what i wanted chasm to be if chasm had played like this but had chasm's like level design it would have been amazing i would have really really loved that uh sadly no 
But whatever. Can't cry over spilt milk. Well, look at who it is. I'm the collector, and I'm about the closest thing you'll find to decent company around here. Bring me the cells you gather from the others. In exchange, I'll procure a few I little items for you. Should you stumble upon a blueprint, bring it to me, and I will introduce you to some more experimental items. Anyway, so we want to get the health flask for obvious reasons. And gold reserves. Well, if we can work on it. Let's see if I've seen the Dead Cells animated trailer. Not yet, actually. I'd like to. Okay, so we can get combo. Extra DPS after killing an enemy. Cooldown time on skills except for grenades. 2 HP every time an enemy dies. Double ammo. These are kind of neat. Uh, let's try, uh, well, let's, one, let's get my mouse cursor out of here. I don't know if the streamer mode's active. Okay, I can, uh, I can take a, another look-see at it. Let's go 30% HP. Sometimes it's best to just be durable. Pile of corpses. Funny, they look a little bit like me. Oh. <laughs> uh, now I need it. Okay, uh, let's let's double check the uh, the options here. Streaming integration should be on. Yeah, it's active. It might just not be functional right now. I have no idea. It should be active. Let, let's see what else we have. Small smart roll interrupts a roll if it would save you from a fall on off of a high platform. Yes, that's really helpful. Hey, uh, menu between each run, allowing you to activate and disable mods. Yeah, so that's that's something uh, we should work on. Uh, there are mods for this game. Unfortunately, they haven't updated for the final version. I will be turning on mods. But I will not be turning on mods, at least for the first couple episodes. And fair warning, I tend to mod games to hell and back again. So, there's a very real possibility. It's never a good sign being sent to the yard. Few return. When they do, it's never quite the same. Okay. Yeah, I tend to mod games, uh, to the fullest extent that I can. Uh, so, the game might be a little bit unrecognizable by the time I'm done. Uh, I would apologize for that. Ow. Ow. Okay. This is why I don't like the hammer that much. Slow weapons seem great. Until you actually need to hit a fast enemy with them. I guess I probably could have done, like, um... Brown stomps or something. We'll see. Yeah, I've heard the, uh, slow weapons are not, uh, not great in this game. Though I should use the, uh, I, I should use the, uh, what am I thinking? Whoops. I, I should use the, uh, bear traps and the blade traps a little bit more often. Looks like those are regular skill items. Yeah, there's no way we're opening that. If there's a mod that gets rid of the, uh, time limits on those doors, I will probably download that. Otherwise, I just might as well mod those rooms out of existence entirely. Oh, I forgot the button for bear trap. Did I miss him? No, he's bear trapped. Okay. Yeah, I guess he just wasn't stunned by that bear. I don't know. Whatever. I like fast weapons in this game. I'm not a big fan of the uh, slow stuff. Why did I? Oh. I guess going down there was not actually that big of a deal. You need to configure and connect your Twitch account if you haven't. I did. Man, I am rusty. This is gonna take some getting used to. Okay. I guess I do have the bow that I can use if I need to. Unfortunately, getting my ammo back with it is, uh, tough. The basic bow is, uh, not worth a whole lot of, well, anything. Hello! I didn't have a kill animation there, I just kinda... ...de facto hit him. Hello! There we go. I'm getting, I'm getting the swing of things a little bit. This is what happens when you, nope. This is what happens when you stop playing ga uh, game for a while. You kinda lose it. And then you start using a weapon that you're really, really bad with. Uh, is, actually, that's what happens whenever I play a Dark Souls game. It's like, uh, oh hey, this game, I'm good at this game. No, I'm not. <laughs> Whoops. Because it wants me to be down here? There we go. 
But yeah, so I was specifically looking at it, and there was a couple of mods that made it so you could, like, start with a different weapon. One that actually, uh, doubled the, like, quality of weapons that you'd run into. Probably should have taken the high road. Uh, and, like, several other things. And I was like, yeah, that actually, that actually seems like, a something I would be vaguely interested in doing. Just turn on an absurd mode and see what happens. Oh, right, the traps. I forgot the traps, uh, the traps lose, lose all functionality if you get too far away from them. Come on. There we go. Okay, there's a rose up there, but I don't think I'm getting to that anytime soon. Whoops. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have a tough time with the rest of this. I'm definitely feeling the rust. This weapon ain't great. Unless, uh, there's a... I know there's a weapon upgrade system that I haven't, like, messed around with too much. Ow. I was hoping I could roll through the, the both of them. Ammo stuck in enemy. There we go. Maybe I should have gone with the uh, health on health on kill situation. Well, that's uh, fine. Uh, let's see. Never seen this game before. Is there a penalty for death? You start over. However, that's fairly normal with roguelikes. Okay, so normally I kind of explore, but I think I think I'm actually just gonna head for this. I made a mistake. Okay. Got him. I shouldn't have got him, but I got him. Bear traps? A little bit more helpful than I thought it was going to be. Because they can't turn around when they've got the, the bear trap going. Okay, well, that's a that's a good sign that I'm not exactly doing poorly. No, I'm doing bad. <laughs> yeah, my first, first couple runs of this were decent. What is that? I have no idea. There's a well. The well doesn't seem to have been used recently. Looks pretty deep. How are you not sinking? Okay. I guess I do have a bow that I can use. Bow is Garbo. Oh, good. At least... At least we're pretty far away from that target dummy. Can I... Nope. Let's just let's just give everything a hard pass for a little while. I am near death. I know we've got. Uh, let's see. Do we want the infantry grenade? Do we want Nutcracker two? Moderate damage. Uh ha. Uh, I could grab the grenade. Seventy three damage though ain't much. Don't mind me. I'm not supposed to be here. Whoa, bear trapping one of those bats looks very strange. All right, when are you gonna die? I have gumption. Uh, let's see, we could go to the ramparts or we could go to the, I'm assuming I can't get past this section. No, we need the teleporting room before I do this. Well, can I just warp up here? Nope. I guess we're going to the ramparts. I don't get a choice. I wanted to live just long enough uh, to turn in that blueprint at the very least. I like the fire grenade. Passage to the ramparts. No, nope, really. Ah, uh, I didn't read it. All right, well, let's get gold reserves as I'm going to die. Uh, let's see, recycling, transforms item found on the ground into gold. Restock, Hunter's Grenade, Random Melee Weapon. Oh. Yeah, some of these are... The, some of these are good, but I think I'm gonna work on, uh... Health Flask first. Okay, Mutation available. Let's get the, uh, Necromancy. I like the Mutation System. In this game, it's not bad. Okay, and that should put us back up to... Yep, Health Flask and HP Restored. Yay!
Okay. <laughs> so, to keep things interesting, or exciting, the guards sometimes threw condemned prisoners from the ramparts. Unfortunately, I've got a solid state drive, so we're not going to be able to read the lore very quick. Or, we're not going to be able to read the lore fast enough to really keep up with uh, the load times, unfortunately. Ow. I'm making mistakes, but I do get a little bit of HP back. Which is going to be nice. It's only a smidge, though. But, a smidge is better than none. I don't remember, did this game used to have the uh, Bloodborne healing in it? I want to say it did. Uh, let's see, Wolf Trap 4 or Victim's Burn. Now, can you, can you level up stuff in this game? There's info. No. Back, restart. I thought you could, like, level up equipment with money. So the question is, do we want, yeah, 50% 50, 50 more? Yeah, the burning targets would be kind of interesting. And there's some of the game mechanics. It feels a lot easier than before. Sort of. Uh, so what they did was they actually broke the game up into four different difficulties. So, uh, instead of, uh, Instead of making the game ultra ow. Instead of making the game ultra difficult uh initially, they actually made it so that uh They actually made it so the first time you play through the game, it's like at its absolute easiest. Can I Uh, and then every time you beat it in subsequent runs, it gets, uh, it gets harder. Which I think is actually kind of a neat system. I'm just trying to stay away from them while I try and die. Uh, so th this way, if you're, if you're not used to the game, you can actually just continuously play on the lowest difficulty. And just kind of have a fun romp. Uh, especially once you've got some upgrades. Uh, but if you want to get up to the four cells level, like the maximum difficulty, it straight up is like, I think, unfair how bad it is. Like most bosses one shot you and so on and so forth. Things that I'm not entirely sure if I will ever actually manage to get through. I'm okay at this game, but obviously rusty. But I don't think I'm that okay at this game. We're going to leave you with that. The other. Uh, I was hoping I could, like, roll backwards out of range, but I was wrong. Okay, so let's go with that. It looks like that increases the effect of the, uh, the health mutation as well. What's this? Le Croissant. Yes! Baguette! I need a better weapon than this. Oops. I guess we go back this way. How much is this game? Jeez, I want to say it's 15 bucks. I could be wrong. I'm fairly certain it's 15 bucks, but it has been, like, a while. And also, <laughs> I will admit, they pretty much sent me this game and then have never spoken a word to me, so... Uh, I, like... You know, where most streamers and develop uh, streamers and YouTubers might, like, get proper info about anything? Uh, I'm just, I am the YouTuber that gets the key and then is forgotten about because I'm not, you know... Big and famous, or anything like that. Okay, there's a scroll of power over this direction. It's 25 on Steam. Okay, they must have raised the price for the 1.0 release. But I think that's... I think that's fine, actually. Okay, so we do have an elite enemy. Let's chug a lug. Okay, so let's get a range of him for a second. He's gonna come for me. Ideally, I want to uh, rely on the bear traps to take him out for me. Okay, Ruby Amulet, downward attacks. Perfect. So now we set the ground on fire whenever, whenever we do these.
There we go. This does not do a whole lot of damage, but that's fine. Okay. I'm just gonna keep, uh, pumping my, my lifesteal here. It's probably not a good idea, but still. Relief of Ice, never get famous. Yeah, no, it, it seems like it would be more inconvenient to, to be, like, Markiplier famous. Uh, or worse, I don't know. Well, he's dead. Farewell, person. You're at best a... A mild inconvenience. Okay. I really do not like this hammer. It'd be interesting if there was a, uh, a mechanic where you could actually, like, get rid of stuff that you don't want. Like, uh, if there's a... If there's a, a weapon type that just doesn't appeal to you very much, you can, uh, you can just get rid of it. Looking at you, Greatsword. Apparently because there's a mechanic in this game where bosses... I was behind him. But I guess he turns... He turns on a dime. Yeah, they definitely made the AI of the enemies much, much more, like, active now. Which is good, actually. Like, it is, it is definitely a lot better than it used to be. Hello! Alright, so you can get the infantry grenade. Sinew Slicer. I mean, that's probably a lot better than what I've got. Yeah. A lot better than what I've got. And there's nothing down here that I can get to. Let's see, so is Dead Cells Early Access done, right? Well, yeah, except for they're gonna have post-content patches and a bunch of other things. Like, this is the most successful roguelike in the past year. So, I'm fairly certain... Uh, I'm fairly certain they can actually uh, develop this game for quite some time, especially with, like, a $25 price tag and all of the uh, positive reviews that this game's been getting. Speaking of, though, there's a elephant in the closet that I should probably... Uh, Acknowledge. Uh, elephant in the closet? Not really. Uh, there's actually some controversy over the 1.0 release of this game. Not because of the game, but actually because of the reviews. So, uh, IGN reviewed this game. And, or, I would say IGN reviewed this game. There we go. Okay, blood sword. I like the blood sword. Uh, so IGN, uh, effectively one of their, I want to say, like, junior writers, uh, wrote, <laughs> right into the bear trap, uh, wrote a review for this game that as far as, uh, as far as I could tell, uh, was actually totally stolen, uh, from, uh, YouTuber's, like, review. Prisoner. A young woman. Prisoner 6541. She's clutching something in her fist. An extra jump midair. And one strength versus reduced damage take. Taken, nah. Extra jumps aren't that helpful. Um. But yeah, so the, uh, the review is just straight up nabbed from, like, a YouTuber's review. Which is just a shame. Like, obviously don't do that. Like, for starters... If you, if you have to do your job by, like, steal, stealing from somebody else, you should not have your job. Straight up. Uh, but I think as of, like, 10.30 last night, the review was taken down and, you know, effectively they issued an apology and stuff like that. Like, all, all's well that ends well, kind of. Uh, but, uh, that was, uh, that was bad. Uh, suffice to say to, like, see last night. It's just like, wait... Really? It's not even that hard to review these games. Just be like, I don't like it. No. Find somebody that does like it and actually... <laughs> like, I'm not joking when I say this is uh, one of those popular roguelikes of the uh, the last year. Um, like... <laughs> the idea that the person that put out the 1.0 review for Dead Cells... Uh, cared so little about the game that they had to steal their review. Uh, is just confusing to me. Uh, let's get the, uh, efficiency. Might as well get skill cooldown. Because, like, there must have been somebody at IGN with the ability to write a, a review. 
uh, that had played this game and liked it? Question mark? Yeah, he was lazy. That's... That's stupid. Like, I... <laughs> I could almost understand it if you're writing, like, some kind of generic review of, like, S Spongebob's latest... whatever game. But, uh... I don't have a whole lot of immediate... Uh, love for Spongebob games, but, uh, you know, if you're writing that, I could almost understand, like, just kind of checking out and being like, alright, whatever. I'm gonna write just a fluff piece, uh, based on, like, somebody else's opinions. You know, obviously, it's still scummy, but... Ow. Yeah, it's still scummy, but, uh, oh well. Ammo stuck in enemy. Ow! That I could at least mildly understand, but like, how lazy do you have to be to to skimp out on actually writing a review for a game like this? You're gonna get caught too. Like it's pretty high profile. Okay, maybe not as high profile. What are? You? Oh, he tried jumping. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that was weird. It's hard to actually like make a point while playing hard roguelikes, which I guess might. Be the okay, he's gonna come flying at me. Bear traps make this a very interesting boss fight. Much more chaotic. Much more confusing. I love it though. Like, I've never actually used bear traps against this guy, and I love the fact that you can effectively CC him. Uh it just is super confusing. <laughs> and I can bait him right into the next set of bear traps. This is a very, uh, very effective combo. Hey, and there's some, there's a weapon that I can actually, ooh. It's golden, too. So, Twin, Twin Daggers 3, L. That DPS, critical hit, third consecutive strike, colorless, highest level applies. Poisons the enemy, critical hits deal 20% damage, victims freeze other, yeah? Yeah. Unknown artifact. Challenges rune. This permanent rune provides access to the daily challenge. Ugh. But nah, I don't know. Like, the idea of stealing a review is just as bad as not figuring out how to jump in Cuphead, as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, what are the golden weapons? Apparently they're, re they're really good ones. I don't know. Okay, so I'm the blacksmith. I work with the collector next door. Oh, so this is how we upgrade our weapons. You've, if you've got the cells, I can improve your gear. So, investing cells permanently increases the drop rate of high-quality weapons. That's neat. I will work on that. We're going to need a lot more cells, though. Which is going to be easiest if I actually get health flask first. Unlock some items. Well, I could start unlocking the blood sword. I like the blood sword. Let's grab that. But yeah, so we got a legendary sword. And, oh, you can spend money to reset mutations now. That's good. How to jump in Cuphead. Look at the screen in the tutorial to see which button to press. Too hard! Uh, 4 out of 10! So, Stilt Village. The village was first in line when the blaze started to spread. First, they buried something. God, I love the backgrounds in this game. Like, I'd, I'd love it if this development studio actually made, like, a legit roguelike. Or, not a legit roguelike, sorry. Uh oh. Okay. A legit Metroidvania. to, uh... Okay, you are confusing horror. Oh, right. These things bite you as they pop out of that. Bad time for me to scratch my face. Gold weapons are a rare reward. Cursed chest only. Use your high stat. Also, you could reset your perks for gold long ago. Well, I haven't actually played this game much in, like, a while. Uh, straight up, I love, I love Dead Cells. I love what it's become. It's... It's still the same game. This is not one of those that's gone like, undergone like terribly drastic changes. Whoop. But it's it's undergone undergone enough changes that like. Uh, 
uh, that it's, like, by far the better product for it. Oh! No! Obviously, I'm going to have some trouble here, owing to the fact that I do not have the, uh, the tricks or the traps to really do horrible things to them. They also do a ton of damage to me. And I'm dead. Wow. Uh, 